All right, guys, welcome back to Gilligan Phantom, where we are turning a big school bus into a tiny house. Last night, we got this shower all waterproof. That actually wasn't me 35 years from now. That was my father-in-law. He's a carpenter. He's here to help out with the build. I'm really appreciating having some help. It's basically what we got to start out with. Oh yeah, Bob is basically gonna take the reins today. I'm gonna be his helper and his filmer, which is gonna be fun for me. And also probably for Bob, because he likes this kind of work. If you really wanna know, I'm full of self-doubt. And to be honest, it has never brought me down. No, 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 no. I'm really glad I'm not walking around. All right guys, so real quick, we need to talk about tile in a school bus. If you ask tile professionals or ask the people that make these products that we're using today, they don't really think that you should put tile in a moving vehicle. I guess they don't want the liability, they think it's risky. Their belief is that the vibrations or hitting big potholes will cause tiles to crack or will cause possibly mortar to crack and come off. This may be true, but we're still putting a tile shower in a school bus. And this is what we're gonna to do to try and mitigate the risks that I just described. Number one is we are using a penny round tile with a lot of grout. Really can't crack a penny round tile. If you had like eight by eight tiles, absolutely. That will probably crack because there's not much absorption that it can, there's not much it can do to absorb the impact of life on the road. In this particular case, we have a lot of grout and we have a lot of tiles. So we're gonna use a flexible grout in between the tiles to help it move. On top of that, we also have Flex Bond. This is a modified thin set. It's supposed to be flexible. It's supposed to keep large tiles from cracking when you install them in homes that are settling. Now, if you know anything about these Curdy Schluter shower systems, that we installed yesterday. By the way, if you haven't watched that video, please go watch it. You'll know that they recommend only unmodified thin set, which is basically just cement, or the modified thin sets that they sell. The reason they do that is that because they have a 10 year warranty on their shower systems, they can't guarantee that the thin set is going to evaporate all of its moisture out. If it's modified, given the modifier, whatever it is, if it's between the waterproof membrane, which does not absorb any moisture, and the porcelain or ceramic tiles, which don't really absorb moisture either. So if you're putting, once again, eight by eights in a shower and you have a modified thin set, it might be the thin set between the membrane and the tiles would never fully adhere. Once again, we have these penny round tiles. There's tons of surface area for the thin set to breathe. And we're also not going to be grouting this straight away. We're going to give it some more time so that we know the thin set is completely dry. That's basically what we're doing to mitigate the risks that I just described. Hopefully it works out okay. And suddenly you realize that everything you ever told yourself were lies. Love it so much. You're gonna take a shower in here, Nova? Yeah. 
Just like desperate. Oh man, that's okay. You still see? Oh, I'll we'll plug it in. All right, fine. So I put on like one of my favorite songs, just like on repeat to try and motivate myself to finish. And I think it probably played like 30 times, and I didn't get sick of it. So here it is. It's all tiled. I actually do need a little piece of trim for the very bottom, which I'll pick up and install later. And of course, I gotta grout this next. In case you're looking to me for guidance which is really nice of you. Should you put a tile shower in a school bus or a van or an Airstream? Probably not. Can you? Hell yeah, you can. It's pretty. Is it heavy? Was it annoying? Are there better options? Yeah, all those things. In fact, I think that you should probably just put up some vinyl sheets with some adhesive over some curdy or some red guarded foam board and have yourself a nice lightweight carefree shower if this is what you want to wake up to and shower in the morning then i guess you're gonna have to go through all that work anyways it's really late i think i'm probably delirious i'll catch you guys later grout time good night peace okay guys so it's been about a week to 10 days it's the day after christmas that thin set has had plenty of time to dry now I'm gonna get on to grouting. So the grout that I'm using is called Ardex FL. This is the same grout that I used on the Backsplash. So this product right here, while I hope will be flexible enough for this application, it's not made for this application. It's made for swimming pools, which I guess move over time, and it's made for settling houses. So does it really work extremely well for this application? I don't know. Ardex FL, Rapid Set Flexible Sand and Grout. There's a last step for that. Don't worry. All right guys, last step is I've got to buff just the last bit of haze off with this microfiber cloth. Val did such a good job of cleaning the tiles that it's gonna be pretty easy. So let me just mm -hmm. knock this out. Thanks, babe. Oh, he's right here. Hey, show me your elbows. Are they nasty? Yeah, what is
my shower is all tiled and it looks incredible. If you haven't seen us waterproof the shower and install the Curdy Schluter shower system, you can watch it on the end screen right here. And next week, we're gonna be installing an amazing low flow shower head and testing out the shower. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.